There is a real food insecurity problem in one Chicago neighborhood, and it's only getting worse. Grocery stores closing, leaving families starved for options. As our Stephen Graves explains, free food at giveaways is gone in minutes. Michelle Miller is picking up fresh free food in West Garfield Park for her three kids ages 9, 7, and 6. She says two bags will likely only last three to four days. When you try to work and try to provide for a family of three is really hard. She was lucky to even get food Monday. Just a few minutes into the giveaway on South Pulaski Road, most bags were gone. People are struggling around to get to stores and if you do you have to go really far like Cicero. 30 minutes in all is how long it took Rush University medical staff and other organizations to feed dozens of families. Deshaun Nelson is a local businessman who grew up in the area and pitched in food. We need better, better things around. We need more help. Help in this neighborhood considered a food desert. This food giveaway held in a parking lot right next to a recently shuttered Save-A-Lot grocery store. The sign behind me from the Department of Health saying that it is a health hazard in there. Another handwritten sign says closed until further notice. And last fall, a nearby decades old Aldi on Madison Street closed after declining sales. But hope here, as now the city is looking to purchase the building for a new potential grocer. We definitely need the product but we also need good stakeholders. Kristen Freeman is one of many people who is pushing the city to find a long-term dependable replacement because it is truly a matter of life and death. Aisha Jaco with organization West Side United estimates life expectancy on the West Side is 14 years shorter than residents in downtown. We started to activate community conversations to make sure there would be a, a fit and that this would be a true choice led by community voice. As the voices just grow louder for healthy options, people's lives depending on it. In West Garfield Park, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. And the grocery giveaways will continue through March. You can find more information on our website, cbschicago.com.